Hello, this is Dr. Paul Finger. I'm speaking on behalf of the Ophthalmic Oncology Task Force Registry called The Study of Ophthalmic Radiation Therapy Toxicity or SORT. This multi-center, internet-based, international registry is supported by the Myrna and John Daniels Fund at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center in Toronto and the Eye Cancer Foundation. SORT is a prospective registry seeking data to expand our knowledge improve our understanding, and thus the practice of ophthalmic radiation therapy. It is important for the eye cancer community to perform this study. Unlike other organs, eye cancers occur in and around a relatively small tissue volume, the eye. That means ophthalmic radiation must be more focused, typically millimeters rather than centimeters. Like the choroidal melanoma seen on this slide, by necessity our radiation fields may have to include the adjacent macular retina. We need to compare radiation techniques performed at the relatively few dedicated eye cancer centers who now use their own sometimes unique methods and equipment. Though radiation therapy has and is currently used to save both life and vision for eye cancer patients, there exist a variety of machines and methods. Each is characterized by unique, characteristic ocular and orbital radiation dose distributions. While the literature is filled with publications emphasizing their ability to control cancer, these publications rarely describe measured doses to critical ocular structures or present useful information on radiation side effects. This is due, in part, to a lack of standards and staging systems for these toxicities. All we have is the relatively generic and thus dysfunctional CTC, or Common Toxicity Criteria. Clearly, ophthalmic oncology needs specialized, medical evidence-based radiation side effects classification systems to enable comparative studies and thus improve patient care. At the first eye cancer working day in Paris, nearly 200 eye cancer specialists met to discuss the need for specific reporting systems and staging of radiation side effects. We found that there only existed a few primordial staging systems and that very little hard supportive data existed. Two years later, at the second eye cancer working day in Sydney, Australia, doctors from multiple international eye cancer centers agreed to participate in a prospective registry to collect structured patient data on side effects. SORT has started. It was designed with custom-made data fields to collect information needed to produce classifications and radiation side effect staging systems. SORT is funded to prospectively collect data for three years after each patient's treatment. SORT's objectives are to collect state-of-the-art information concerning radiation methods, doses, and dose rates. Site-specific data include that from eyelids, eye and the orbit. Thus, we are collecting information about doses to critical ocular and orbital structures, including, but we're not limited to, the eyelids, lens, retina, macula, and optic nerve. This site-specific dose data will be linked to subsequent changes and findings of radiation side effects. For the first time, SORT will give us the data needed to determine dose-specific tissue toxicity we will have the medical evidence needed to compare our radiation treatments. SORT will collect real-world data accumulated from patients around the world. Multi-center data reduces the influence of single-center selection bias. SORT data is anonymized and secured on servers at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center Internet Technology Department in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. A restricted grant by the Myrna and John Daniels Foundation allows SORT's construction and implementation. 
the Eye Cancer Foundation will continue to support its implementation and fundraising efforts. Specific eye tumors were chosen for the study. They were picked due to their prevalence and as representatives for different classes of eye tumors. For example, iris, ciliary body, and choroidal melanoma are being studied because uveal melanoma is the most common primary intraocular cancer. It is also treated with a variety of types of external beam radiation therapy and a multitude of plaque radiation therapy modalities. Ocular adnexal lymphoma, or OAL, is the most common primary orbital cancer. It is also treated with numerous radiation techniques and thus allows study of external beam radiation therapy to the eye in orbit. In addition, a variety of conjunctival cancers are allowed. Due to their common location on the eye globe, they will be used to study that specific location and related radiation side effects. Though SORT has already started collecting patient information, it is not closed to membership by additional centers. As SORT moves forward, multiple international centers are currently at different stages of participation. For example, as of March 2021, 36 centers have expressed interest in participation and that eight have already started entering data. An additional 23 centers are working towards meeting the requirements including local ethics, privacy, IRB, and DTA to participate. As you can see in this slide, we have some of the centers either participating or working towards inclusion in SORT. There are additional centers, but these are the ones that are closest to or already enrolling patients. In conclusion, the method of any individual's eye cancer radiation treatment is likely to have more to do with the customs and practice at their eye cancer center than the likelihood of local cancer control, ophthalmic radiation side effects, and thus vision retention. It is not due to a lack of desire of their doctor to achieve an excellent result but rather due to a lack of medical evidence distinguishing the methods and modalities used at each center. SORT seeks to provide the data needed to predict radiation side effects. SORT seeks to develop functional radiation side effects grading systems and classifications. These can be used by eye cancer specialists to contrast their old and new treatments and to provide personalized and thus optimized ophthalmic radiation therapy for all patients around the world. We at SORT believe there is strength in numbers. The more centers participating will translate to more patients entered. The more data, the greater the statistical significance of our findings. These findings will improve patient care so join us. Our contact information is listed on this slide, and thank you for your attention.